Doodles. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, I've just um changed, doesn't look like it, because it's still the same jumper and jacket on, but um I put on my breeches, my white ones which are underneath these, which are DVR. Best during like over riding tracksy bottom kind of thing. Um basically you can run them. So what I do, I get on with these on, um, and like this on and just ride around this morning and then I'll come back and get changed and then get back on again and warm up properly again. Um just to help them like get into the mood for it um, but I need to go plat now so I'm going to quickly do that and then I'm going to have some breakfast hopefully it should only take me like 20-30 minutes to plat so and then once that's all done he's clean so that's good and I can have some to eat because I'm already hungry first thing my brain goes to is food okay I'll go and plat now before and after okay they're a bit messy and this one here there's literally not enough hair to make a plat but it was either like do nine or make it 11, which I probably should have done in hindsight. But you know, it's fine. Um, and when he's like got his head like down, it looks a bit better. Good boy, Todd. He's so good for his plats. Hey. Mum's doing studs too. How's it going, Mum? Badly. Why? It's been a while since we've done studs, isn't it? Oh, okay, apart from Kiso. <laughs> but, um,. I'm gonna go and have some breakfast now. Todd. Todd's just chilling and then I'll get on and ride him around for a bit before our test. Good boy. Hello. Okay, mum's just helped me tack up. Um, finished all his studs. Well done, mum. Good job. <laughs> um, yeah. Pretty good boy, Toodles. Oh, he says, give me the food. Um, I'm gonna get my hat on. I got my boots on already, but let's get my hat on. I'm looking so pale right now because of the light, but um, just come back from schooling Todd. Um, he was really good, so I, I came back and get so I came back and got changed for myself. I'm into my number. Uh, I need to put my boots on too, but apart from that, I'm basically done. So I have about five to go before I'm on, but he's like warmed up. So good up on him, walking around for a bit, and then do a little bit more, and then hopefully we should do a good test. Fingers crossed. I really want to do a good test because we've been working hard at his dressage. Um, and he did a really nice test at Hickson, so just if you get something like that, not be pleased. So yeah, fingers crossed, and I'll I'll let you guys as soon as I'm back. Come on, Todd, we can do it.
oh my gosh, mega pleased with that test. Um, regardless of result, I'm so pleased with that. He was, that's probably the best test I've ever ridden, ever. <laughs> I, I, and I don't say that like, it takes a lot for me to say I rode a test well. You, you actually get a 40 now? Yeah, I'm gonna get, probably gonna get a 40, because that's how dressage works, but I'm really pleased with how I rode. I've been practicing breathing techniques to calm myself down, and it worked. Um, and he was really good as well. I think we got a good warm up now, like getting on and then letting him relax a bit and then getting back on once I'm ready. Um, but yeah, he did so well and he has his lovely lips. Oh, he's all gone now, but he did have lovely lips. <laughs> um, he just was really relaxed and good and tried really hard to stay focused. So I'm over the moon with him. Um, just show jumping cross country now. Fingers crossed we can get that clear in the show jumping. That'd be amazing, Todd, but he was so good in the dressage, so I'm pleased with you regardless. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. But I can't remember the last time I said this in a vlog, but I don't think I've ever said it in a vlog, but we got a sub 30 dressage. <laughs> I got a score for a test, which I was proud of, which I'm happy with. So we got 29.25, which is pretty decent. You know, I'm happy with that. I'm really pleased with him. Um, so on to the show jump now, we're just tacking up for him now, my mum's just getting sad already. Um, hopefully I can ride by on the show jump and give him a good round, and hopefully he picks up, fingers crossed, but regardless. 29.25! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. And I'm so glad like I found it good too. Like it's the best feeling when you think it goes well, and then the judge agrees, so thanks judge. Um, but I'll see you guys after show jumping. Wish us luck, please, please, please. Keep your fingers crossed that he keeps the poles up. Well, by the time you're seeing this, well, no, I'll know, but keep your fingers crossed. All right, well, that was a bit disappointing, but not really not really for a fault of his own, to be honest. He, he was feeling a bit, um, um, he loves his jumping. He had a pole at the second one, but I kind of just got a bit deep to it because I wasn't really holding him enough for it. And then I held him much more for the rest of the course because, you know, I've got to just get him under me and make sure he's picking up. Um, and he did pick up for the rest of it. And it was fine, I cut a corner because I was like, oh, you know, I'm holding a bit, like I'll take a bit off the course. Seven time penalties. I mean, I was holding him back, but seven time penalties? I don't think I've ever got sh time penalties in my life show jumping. What can you do? I didn't even take into account that there might be time. <laughs> I was like, he's pretty fast. There's no way he's gonna get time penalties. I mean, it didn't even cross my mind, but that's pretty much knocked us out of the place. Since a pole might have been okay, but seven time penalties? I don't know what the rules are show jumping. Like, is it 0 0.4 for one minute, one second over the time, like for cross country? Because that wouldn't make sense if it, like if he's like 28 seconds too slow. That just that just wouldn't make sense. But um, I'm assuming it's one per second, which is the only thing that would make like seven seconds too slow. But you know, it's all right. At least I know now because we have our first BE in like two weekends time. At least I know for that that I need to go a bit quicker between the fences. Um, 
but I am pleased with how he jumped the rest of it. Even though he had that second one down, it was like an upright down a hill after the first fence and he just like, you know, related distance. He's quite long striding. And I just didn't like sit up enough and get him back for it. So he just tapped it with his front legs. Um, but he did the next related distance well and got, I sat up and held him and he got the right stride and jumped it clear. So, um, yeah, what can you do? At least it means we can have fun cross country now because I was really stressed before this JJ, I'm not gonna lie to you, because of that dress first score. Um, and I would have been gutted like if I'd gone clear show drumming and then they were like seven time penalties. I would have been like, what? Lesson learned for B next weekend, which is important. So anyway, on to the cross country. We don't have very long. I don't know why my camera just doesn't focus on me anymore. Um, but hopefully the cross country goes well. A bit worried about that downhill fence, but I think I'm gonna I think I said yesterday I'm gonna walk it down the hill so he gets enough, you know, track, he gets enough grip on the floor. Um, fingers crossed, I'll see you guys after. I'm gonna get changed now. Um, so just got back, well, about an hour ago, got back from the country, about getting Toddle cleaned off and nice and walked off, but he was amazing. Clear inside time, I think, too, which I'm pleased about because I haven't, like, really thought about time with him. Evidently not in the show jumping either, but cross country, I haven't thought about time at the last event. So it was nice to see I can, like, get him inside time. But he was perfect. Yeah, he's just awesome, just cross country. Such a machine. Um, such a machine with it. I don't actually think he put a foot wrong. Even the scary, like, downhill brush thing. He just, like, I got it back, he trotted down the hill. Um, I think we almost walked down the hill. And then picked up the canter, popped the brush, easy. Um, he literally didn't put a foot wrong. Um, shame, I'm, I'm disappointed about the show drum ring that I let him down because, I, realistically, that was my fault with your time penalties because I didn't even consider it. Um, are you going for the treat? He's going for the treat! But at least we'll know for our first BE in a couple of weeks. And well, I'll know for the, my first BE in a couple of weeks with him. And I won't get time penalties with you then. So they knocked us out of the placings, I assume. But you can't really complain when you have a sub 30 dressage and a clear as I time cross country. So I'm over the moon with him. He is awesome. Apart from that pole, he hasn't put a foot wrong. Um, and even then, that pole was probably my fault for not getting him back enough. So awesome boy. He's, he's the best ever. So happy with him. I'm gonna go take him back to his stable now so he can chill out for a bit. 
and then we can probably head home soon. Yeah, some food. Oh, food. I'm starving. I haven't eaten a thing today. All right, I just had a burger and an R white lemonade, which was really good. And I'm going to, and I'm gonna go muck out Todd fully now. I am um, a bit more mucked out like his stable, but I just found out we need to take out all the shavings, take out all the straw and stuff, which of course is fine, but I need to go do it now. So um, I'm gonna head down and do that. And then I think we're gonna leave as as soon as possible after that, to be honest with you. Um, time bolts did knock us out placing, which is sad, but you know, not the end of the world. Um, and my fault, so I won't do it next time. Live and we learn. And I can't get over a dress, so I just so. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I'll head down now and I'll see you guys when I'm with Tom. Okay, we come down to see Toodles. He's very sleepy. So I got my baby horse voice on. Um, yeah, he's sleepy boy. Looks all happy though, obviously. Look at him. You want to say hello to the camera? You want to say hello? Oh, no, he says I'm posing. So we got a lot of bedding to take out. Just met some lovely people who recorded for me, so thank you to those people. Appreciate that. I really like when I have the videos. <laughs> um, anyways, stable. We've got a lot of bedding to take out. You going to help Toodles? You want to come out and graze for a bit? You going to do that? Just grazing Toodles. Um, Mum's currently doing the stable, but Mum, do you want to swap in a minute? And you hold Todd. She she's on she's in one of those just get it done moods. <laughs> Anyways, it's been such a great time here. I've missed oh, I say every time I'm out, but I've missed it so much, just like eventing and like you know feeling like I have the opportunity to be a bit competitive. Even if you know even if you know sometimes it doesn't go to plan, like I get time penalties. We still had a great dressage. I think we were like sick after dressage, which is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. There was quite a, good, quite a few in the cast and it's all a good standard. Like it's a national champs um, with a lot of nice Connies. So he did really good. I'm really proud of him. And I've worked really hard at his dressage. So I'm chuffed to pieces with that. And I thought I rode it well. So it's not often I say that. Um, show jumping, you know, the pole, just unlucky, just tapped it, got a bit too deep to it. Not really much you can do about that. Um, and, he, and he jumped really well after. Time faults. Not sure if the time was tight. I was going slow. But I think going slow probably helped him pick up a bit. Um, it's a bit slopey as well, like you saw on my course walk. So I was worried about that. Um, I think at South of England or wherever my next B is, I will just push him on between defences. Because I didn't really, didn't really do that. Um, as I was focused so much on getting over them. And making it a smooth round, make sure it wasn't slipping. So we live and we learn, as I said. Um, and then cross country, what can I say? He's awesome. He just, every single time he's awesome. Doesn't look at anything and is so, so brave for it. Hey, you made my job quite, e quite easy cross country. I just got to cling on, haven't I? Yeah. And also we made it inside the time, which I'm pleased about because I haven't been, I haven't got the best history of getting inside the time. <laughs> It's been a couple of times where I've messed that up, but no, um, I think I've got it. I think I've got it down now. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that in the BE to um, use my minute markers and everything. So pleased with that. And yeah, overall a really good day. Amazing scenery here. I can't get over it. I'm looking at it now. What can, you, what can I say? That's beautiful. And filled me with a lot of conf and filled me with a lot of confidence too. That I first of all can ride dressage well and do a good test and. Um, I've still got my mojo across country so hopefully we'll have a good uh, couple of events to end the season BE fingers crossed hopefully I'll be able to vlog for them if I'm not too nervous um, I think I'll probably end the vlog here too because we're just about to travel home it's pretty boring I do the same thing every time so thank you for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed this video been a bit of a long one bit of a insight into what goes in on behind the scenes when we're not just competing but I hope you've enjoyed um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more and turn on post notifications so you can see the upcoming event blog and we'll see you guys soon